start the fashion show, and I'm going to turn this over just in a second. But I want to talk to a few of you, and tell me how long have you been doing the tour of homes? Four years. My first. First year. First year for this one. Oh, they're young. This is my first year, too. <laughs> Five years. I'm another newbie, first year. Second year. <laughs> two years. Four years. Two years. First year. How many years have you been doing Tropical Christmas? I mean, not Tropical Christmas, but that, too. But how many years have you been doing the tour of homes? Uh, what, nine? Eight, nine? This is my tenth year. I knew, I knew it had been going on a long time, because I've done it for, like, five years. So I knew that... We've got a lot of new people here today, and thank you so much for joining us, and you all look fantastic, and I'm going to turn it over now. I'm going to walk up there first. Okay, come run on up here. Can we have maybe Mr. York help our ladies up on, on the ramp if it gets a little difficult? Because that yes. ramp's a little steep. Where's Mr. York? He's right here. Oh, the guy with the camera. Okay, give it up for the ladies from the Tour of Homes. Thank you very much. Welcome, ladies, children, girls, and boys. Welcome. Beautiful day we have here in Rockport, and we're so glad you're here, and I think you're really going to enjoy this fashion show. And uh, my name is Ann Mortaja. I'll be the uh, MC for the fashion show, and I have some very lovely ladies who are docents today and tomorrow at the Homes Historical Home Tour. So first of all, we want to give you a sense of the local uh, Aransas County as seen through vintage dress of the eras. We have chosen models who will be our docents at the historic home tour, which begins today at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., and goes to 5 p.m. today, and then again tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tickets are $15, but if you want to buy two, you get a discount for $25. And you can buy them at the Chamber of Commerce at any venue. Or Cam, raise your hand. Cam Waggard has tickets that she would be glad to sell you today. So as you know, the homes on our historic tour must be at least 50 years old. Home has to be 50 years to qualify to be on the tour. We have four beautiful homes, three historic venues that all made it through Hurricane Harvey with little damage. Pork strong, right? So you won't want to miss this year's tour. All right, the ladies are going to walk up the ramp. They're gonna walk across the stage so you can see their beautiful costumes. Then they'll, each one will take their turn. And at the very end, we'll have all the ladies line up for a great photo session. Thank you. All right, look, here comes Nikki West. Thank you, Mr. York. Such a gentleman. <laughs> All right, Nikki is a docent at the Hill Daniel House, which was built in 1933. She's wearing a green velvet dress, pearls, a mink stole, and her hat is also embellished with mink. Her brooch is red and silver stunner. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Following Nikki is Becky Warren. Here she comes, yet another docent at Heritage Place. She is wearing a white ruffled blouse and a black skirt. Her hat is made of straw, accented with peach flowers and feathers. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> Beautiful ladies in their costumes. So next we have Elaine Timmons. Elaine is also at the Hill Daniel House. Elaine is dressed more like the year the house was built in 1933. Her dress has a button down back and has a navy and white flower print. Note the lace inset in the front of the dress. Her white gloves and hat with the lace veil and bow are just perfect for that era. And Elaine just told me recently she's wearing her mother's bracelet from her high school graduation in 1930. Thank you, Elaine. Now comes Sterling Heller.
Sterling is a docent at the Feister House, which was built in 1950. Sterling is wearing a poodle dress, skirt dress with a, uh, accented with a black belt. The skirt is red felt. Note the black feathers along the neckline of the dress, and you are ready for the sock hop. Sterling, are you ready? Woo! <laughs> How many of you ever went to a sock hop? Let's see. Ah, good. Some of us remember what a sock hop is. If you don't, ask your grandparents. <laughs> okay, now we have Kelly McNeely. She is a docent at the Mullinax O'Malley House, which was built in 1938. Her T-length blush colored dress with a lace overlay and V-neck is so representative of what a lady of that time would be wearing. Kelly also wears a pearl bracelet and a blush colored hat with flowers. Thank you, Kelly. Beautiful, aren't they? Another docent at the Feister House is Dawn Bechtel. Here comes Dawn in her navy blue dress with white polka dots and features white buttons down the front. She tops off her outfit with a navy hat with feathers and white gloves. Thank you very much, Dawn. Here comes Holly Hamilton who is a docent at the Mullinax O'Malley House. She is wearing a gorgeous dress, which has a beige lace over blouse with a chiffon skirt of a lighter beige. This dress is vintage and has tiny seed pearls scattered throughout. Thank you, Holly. <clears throat> Next, we have Marita Grunhuisen. She is a docent at the Monax O'Malley House. Marita is dressed appropriately for that era in a longer length dress with flowers. The dress has a black inset at the neck and a black dress with flowers. The dress, the dress has a black inset with a pleated skirt and her charming hat is light purple with roses. Thank you, Marita. Following Marita is Pinky Gonzalez. <clears throat> Pinky, who is the house chair for Heritage Place, the former Episcopal Church, which was built in 1871. Pinky is wearing a white ruffled blouse with navy wide-legged party pants, topped with a chapeau du monde hat and red bijou boots. She accentuates her outfit with white pearl earrings and a choker. Thank you, Pinky. <laughs> now we have a duo. We have Howard and Robin. Howard Jones and Robin, his wife. Howard is portraying Private William Sapp, and his wife Robin is portraying Mary Martha Ann Grimes. Listen up. They are docents for the History Center and are in Rockport attending a Civil War reunion. William Sapp of the Texas 8th Infantry was defending the Texas coast and he is wearing his Confederate shell jacket made by his wife, Martha Ann. She dyed the jacket in butternut to give it a brown color. The sleeves are black signifying the militia. He's also wearing a red plaid homespun cotton shirt. His hat has a Texas star on it. Howard is the sixth generation grandson of Private Sapp. Martha Ann, a veteran of the Texas runaway scrape, is wearing an 1860s cotton day dress with a pinner apron, straw bonnet, black lace boots. Don't they make an attractive couple? Thank you. Always so nice to have a gentleman with us. Next, we have Elaine Peterson. She is the docent at the Mullinax O'Malley home. Elaine is wearing a two-piece floral inlaid velvet skirt with matching velvet jacket, accentuated with pearl collar. 
Elaine is donning a green felt hat with brooch, tulle, and feather adornment. Thank you, Elaine. Next, we have a veteran, Maureen Winkleman. She is the 2017 Rockport Fulton Home Tour Wardrobe Chairman. She is addressed to attend high tea at the Shivers Bernard House on North Magnolia Street. Maureen is dressed in a long black polka dotted dress with an elongated V-shaped collar. Her show-stopping lampshade hat was made by Andre of Montreal, Canada. Maureen has accentuated her outfit with a pearl necklace, rhinestone earrings, black gloves, and a black poodle jacket, astrakhan, with mink collar. Thank you, Maureen. We're saving the, be the best for last. Here comes Miss Cam Waggart, who would fit right in any of our homes built in the 1930s on Magnolia Street in Old Rockport. Cam is wearing a T-length light beige day dress with a linen underslip. The bell sleeves feature crochet at the waist. Cam's out outfit is accentuated with black lace gloves, a big black hat, and she is carrying a Mary Frances bag with sequin sequins and rhinestones. Thank you, Cam. And my name's Ann Mortaja. I'm dressed appropriately maybe as a teacher at the Fulton School with a long uh, prairie type skirt, uh, a, a prairie uh, shirt, and this would be very appropriate for a teacher at that time. We do not show skin, that's very inappropriate at the time. So I was a retired teacher, I am, and so this is probably what I would have worn to the Fulton Schoolhouse. So all ladies, come on back up so we can get a final look and maybe a few shots, and we appreciate such a lovely audience. And we hope that you can join us on the historic home tour today or tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'd like to give a special invitation to the men out there. I want you to come by, see the home. It's a beautiful home. We want to give you a tour. We're going to be, or I'm going to be sharing Civil War stories that took place right here. That's right, right here on the Gulf Coast. Also, we're going to have antique weapons and an opportunity to take photos. So be sure and stop by our home. Oh, at the History Center home. Huh? Yep. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day.